So you've probably seen a lot of influencers on Instagram and on TikTok where they put on this drop of really red liquid on their faces and it kind of looks like blood and a lot of people are raving about it and the good effects on their skin and if you're curious what the product is that is this right here this is the ordinary HA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. Now, before you buy this product, you have to make sure if this product is for you because unfortunately, this is not for everyone and sometimes this can do harm than good if used the wrong way. So on this video, I'm going to tell you what this does and most importantly, figuring out if this is good for you or not. So first, let's discuss what this is. The Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution is an acid cocktail. It has four different types of AHAs. It has glycolic acid, lactic acid, tartaric acid, and citric acid. And all together, they build up to 30%. Now, what are AHAs? AHAs are exfoliants that dissolves the glue that holds together the skin cells so they can be sloughed off. Now, when that's sloughed off your face, you can get a softer, smoother, and brighter skin. So when that layer is removed from the skin, it gives way to a fresh new layer. That's why your dark spots will be less visible. It can also help with wrinkles and fine lines. But when you remove too many, you're actually disrupting the natural barrier on your face and you can expose the raw skin underneath and that will dry out your skin and it will cause you irritation and you are going to be super prone to sand damage. Now let's talk about the 2% part on this peel solution, which is the BHA. The BHA refers to the salicylic acid in this peeling solution. And the salicylic acid is actually the same as the AHA. It also dissolves the glue that binds the skin cells together. But the salicylic acid actually goes a step further in removing your whiteheads and your blackheads. Now, this peeling solution actually has a really high concentration of acid with 30% HA and 2% BHA, so in total 32%. So it's actually easy for this peeling solution to dry out your skin and irritate your skin because it really has that high concentration of acid. So you really have to make sure to use this with caution. Now, you might be wondering why this peeling solution is actually red. It is because this solution has a Tasmanian pepper berry. Now, this pepper berry actually helps in reducing redness and irritation. So it helps reduce the negative reaction of the solution on your face. So now let's dive into the step-by-step -step on how to use this mask. So the first step that you should do is to patch test. Ideally, I would recommend you to patch test at least two days before using this peeling solution. Now you can do the patch test on two areas. You can do it inside your arm or you can do it behind your ear. Remember to apply the product on enough surface area that it allows you to notice a problem should one arise, but small enough that it wouldn't be detrimental if something does go wrong. If irritation occurs after the patch test, then just don't use the product. But if everything is okay, make sure you have the following handy. First, you'll need a headband, a towel to protect your clothing, an acid neutralizer, and you can make a neutralizer at home by combining one fourth cup of baking soda with four cups of water. You can also buy a neutralizer that comes in a bottle and you can buy it at Amazon. I'll be putting the link down below. Another optional Vaseline to protect your under eyes and lips and gloves if you have sensitive hands. So the first step is to make sure that your face is clean but I don't recommend you using a cleanser that has an acid to it, like cleansers with salicylic acid or cleansers with exfoliating properties. Just use a mild cleanser. I usually use the Innisfree BJ Seed Oil Cleanser or this Ordinary Squalene Cleanser. Now, after cleansing and patting your face dry, proceed putting Vaseline on your eye area and on your lips. 
Now I start applying this on my chin and on my jaw. Those areas are more resilient and then I move up to my cheeks and then my forehead. And you can also use a fan brush or a cotton pad if you have sensitive hands and you don't have gloves. And start your timer as soon as the acid hits your face. So as soon as you put the acid on your chin, start the timer. So when you're just starting out, just put it for 5 minutes. And then when your face is used to the 5 minute, then use it for 6 minutes. And then again, 7 minutes until you hit the 10 minutes. But do not, do not go over 10 minutes. I cannot stress this enough. I don't want you to have acid burn on your face. So this is very important. So as soon as you put this acid, your skin will actually feel some tingling. Or sometimes it would feel a little bitey. But if it's too painful for you or it's too uncomfortable, start neutralizing right away. Splash your face with the baking soda water mixture or wash your face and then put that bottle of neutralizer that you have from Amazon. So once you put that neutralizer, this thing will actually be intensified briefly. So don't freak out, but just continue until it quickly subsides. So if you go with a 10 minutes, you just have to rinse it with normal cold water and make sure that you don't have any of the peeling solution on your face. You don't need to use a cleanser to remove the peeling solution, just use plain water. Now once that peeling solution is all washed off from your skin, pat your skin dry and then put a generous layer of your moisturizer or oil. Coconut oil also works or if you have a favorite oil-based moisturizer that will be good as well but if you have extra time i highly recommend using sheet mask i especially love the innisfree one the one in aloe vera because it's very cooling and soothing and hydrating and this is what usually happens when you go to a professional or when you go to facial spas after putting the acid on your face they usually put a mask because your skin is very well primed to absorb all of those moisturizing goodness from the mask. I recommend using this peel at night so you wouldn't be exposed to the sun after using this peeling solution but I also highly highly recommend that after using this peeling solution make sure to use SPF every day because your skin will be very sensitive to light and I don't want you to have any sun damage so that will just defeat the purpose of this peeling solution. It is also very important to use SPF after using this mask so use SPF every day as soon as you start using this mask or if you can just avoid the sun altogether for a few days after using this peeling solution. Now let's talk about expectations and aftercare. So your skin might be a little dry after using this peeling solution as the top layer has been removed so just keep moisturizing and moisturizing and be generous with your moisturizer. I would also suggest to not use an exfoliant after using this peeling solution for at least a week because this is a very effective exfoliant so you don't really need to use an exfoliant after using this peeling solution and if you do it will just cause more irritation to the skin and the skin will probably be more sensitive and a little pink and a little shiny so again make sure to avoid the sun or excessive heat or just avoid harsh conditions and again it's very important to use spf every day you can also expect a little flaking on the skin. Do not, do not pick on it. Just slather on moisturizer and just keep slathering on moisturizer. So I use this once a week for a month and here is my result. the treatment plan and how often you should use this. Once every two to three weeks is ideal. It's not too close together but close enough to get the cumulative effects. 
Now, once you've done a few peels at this rate and you're seeing good results, then a good maintenance of once or twice a month is good enough. And it's really best to take the side of caution. I know that when you start doing some peels and seeing your face glow and you're seeing good results, you want to do it more often and you want to do a higher concentration. But at the end of the day, that would actually give you more skin damage than good. And you know your skin best, so once you've done a couple of this peeling treatment, you will be able to adjust the timing based on the look and feel of your skin. And that's it. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll always be updated once a new video is out. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And if you have any more questions, just comment down below. I'll see you in my next one. Keep safe, everyone.